Chapter 13 On that day they read in the book of Moses, in the audience of the people, and therein was found written, that an Ammonite and a Moabite should not enter into the assembly of God for ever, because they did meet the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them to curse them. However, our God turned the curse into a blessing. It came to pass, when they had heard the law, that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitude. Now before this, Eliashib the priest, who was appointed over the chambers of the house of our God, being allied to Tobiah, had prepared for him a great chamber, where before they laid the meal offerings, the frankincense, and the vessels, and the tithes of the grain, the new wine, and the oil, which were given by commandment to the Levites, and the singers, and the porters, and the heave offerings for the priest. But in all this time I was not at Jerusalem, for in the thirty-second year of Artaxerxes king of Babylon I went to the king, and after certain days I asked leave of the king, and I came to Jerusalem, and understood the evil that Eliashib had done for Tobiah, in preparing him a chamber in the courts of the house of God. It grieved me badly, therefore I cast forth all the household stuff of Tobiah out of the chamber. Then I commanded, and they cleansed the chambers, and there were brought again the vessels of the house of God, with the meal offerings and the frankincense. I perceived that the portions of the Levites had not been given to them, so that the Levites and the singers who did the work were fled every one to his field. Then I contended with the rulers and said, Why is the house of God forsaken? I gathered them together and set them in their place. Then Judah brought the tithe of grain and the new wine and the oil to the treasuries. I made treasurers over the treasuries, Shelemiah the priest and Zadok the scribe, and of the Levites Padiah, and next to them was Hanan the son of Zachor, the son of Mataniah, for they were counted faithful and their business was to distribute to their brothers. Remember me, my God, concerning this, and don't wipe out my good deeds that I have done for the house of my God and for the observances of it. In those days I saw in Judah some men treading winepresses on the Sabbath and bringing in sheaves and loading donkeys with wine, grapes, and figs and all manner of burdens which they brought into Jerusalem on the Sabbath day, and I testified against them in the day in which they sold food. There lived men of Tyre also there, who brought in fish and all manner of wares, and sold on the Sabbath to the children of Judah and in Jerusalem. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah, and said to them, What evil thing is this that you do, and profane the Sabbath day? Didn't your fathers do this, and did not our God bring all this evil on us and on this city? Yet you bring more wrath on Israel by profaning the Sabbath. It came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the doors should be shut, and commanded that they should not be opened until after the Sabbath, and some of my servants I set over the gates, that there should no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. So the merchants and sellers of all kind of wares lodged outside of Jerusalem once or twice. Then I testified against them and said to them, Why do you lodge about the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time forth they came no more on the Sabbath. I commanded the Levites that they should purify themselves, and that they should come and keep the gates, to sanctify the Sabbath day. Remember me, my God, also, and respare me according to the greatness of your loving kindness. In those days also I saw the Jews who had married women of Ashdod, of Ammon, and of Moab, and their children spoke half in the speech of Ashdod, and could not speak in the Jews' language, but according to the language of each people. I contended with them, and cursed them, and struck certain of them, and plucked off their hair, and made them swear by God, saying, You shall not give your daughters to their sons, nor take their daughters for your sons or for yourselves. Did not Solomon king of Israel sin by these things? Yet among many nations was there no king like him, and he was beloved of his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did foreign women cause to sin. Shall we then listen to you to do all this great evil, to trespass against our God in marrying foreign women? One of the sons of Joida, the son of Eliashib, the high priest, was son-in-law to Sanballat, the Horonite. Therefore I chased him from me. Remember them, my God, because they have defiled the priesthood, 
and the covenant of the priesthood and of the Levites. Thus I cleansed from them all foreigners, and appointed charges for the priest and for the Levites, every one in his work, and for the wood offering, at times appointed, and for the firstfruits. Remember me, my God, for good.' 